everybody, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, everyone's favorite space colony management game. Uh, we're on episode two, and last time around, we went ahead and just set up the basics for our Badlands playthrough that we're playing through right now. We got went ahead and set up some rooms. We have the latrine and some bedrooms as well. And we've started working through some research as well, we kind of focused on getting farming up and running because it looks to me that food is about to be an issue for us. And uh, so we're working on that. Uh, we're also like starting to dig stuff out. We're hoping our duplicate can get a skill point or two so that we can start digging some of the more difficult materials that are out there that allow us to expand a little bit further. Oh, and look at that. We have that. Bert. How's it going, buddy? All right. We're going to get you hard digging and we're going to let Bert dig it. the precarious job of, of digging. And um, Mima, I think Mima is our researcher, right? Yeah, Mima is our researcher. All right, so we'll have Mima keep working on researching. Um, we'll give her the hat while we're at it. Hopefully here, probably, probably in this time frame anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, probably get advanced research taken care of as well. What are we researching at the moment? Currently right now, we are researching ventilation. Oh, right, because... We want to get manual airlocks so we can start closing off sections of our base and protecting this precious oxygen instead of letting it well, flow everywhere that we're not currently. All right, sweet. Um, yeah, and then once this is done, once this can get dug out down here, actually, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and just start having them focus on this. We'll have this dug out. And then we'll go ahead and uh, move our food storage down here and we'll start protecting it. Hopefully some of this CO2 works its way down into this pit. And uh, as the pressure builds in the base, the CO2 will get pushed down in here and then our food will stop decaying. That'd be nice. Uh, something else that came to mind is I believe we have, right, okay. We have a night dweller. So let's go ahead and set up a schedule for them, Meep. <laughs> the old meep. We need to start giving these people names too, by the way. Who should we uh Who should we who should we call in them? Uh, we're gonna call this the night shift. And let's go ahead and set up a schedule for meep. Alright, so meep likes to work during the daytime. Go ahead and just adjust this around real quick. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is we'll let him have bath time like right in the middle of the day. His bedtime and then his downtime. Uh, actually, hold on a second. One, two. Yeah, that's fine. And let's give them a little bit of extra morale while we're at it. We'll let them have four hours of downtime. That should keep them a little, little happier in these dire conditions at the moment. And while that's going on, we're just going to keep on digging, digging. Uh, we're going to have a, a bit of a problem here. We're going to have a food shortage. So we kind of need to get this, these farm tiles put in, like stat. So let's start working on that. Uh, this, these briar plants can go. Let's get this out of here. Uh, this bristle blossom, yank this out of here. Let's uproot this bluff briar as well. Yeah, all of these, all of these plants. Let's get them out of here. They're not growing anyway, so you know there's no real reason to keep them around. Okay, cool. Uh, we're just gonna put in regular farm tiles for right now. Uh, we should be able to relocate some of these. I'm gonna wait until these mealwood. Well, 69%. Yeah, uh, they will grow faster in the farm tile. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and uproot at least this one. Let's we'll swap it out. I think these other ones that are like 90 some percent, we'll keep them for a little while longer. All right, oops, that's not where we want that. All right, so let's go ahead and close this off. Uh, eventually we'll get the farm station. Oh gosh, this is even in the wrong spot. Cancel this. <laughs> let's try this again. I wanna keep a, a, a gap here. Eventually we'll put in like fire poles and stuff like that. So, and actually cancel this. Uh, I'm not going to put a farm station in for me. What, what the heck am I thinking? All right, sweet. And how many do we need? So we're going to need 
a farm, just so I know, in case I do change my mind in the future, a greenhouse can be a maximum size of 96 tiles. So that means that we can make a space that's four tiles tall by 24 tiles wide, right? So if I measure this, we can go all the way out to this piece of fertilizer. All right. So we'll come all the way out to here. This is, this is like a good reference point. And then we can go ahead. We need, what is it? If I remember right, the ratio is something like five meal wood per duplicate. So we should be able to get a couple more duplicates out here. We'll go ahead and make two stuff. We're going to make two farms. How's that? We'll make, we'll just stack them up. All right, cool. Well, let's see here. Uh, do we have a farmer by chance? Let's take a look at, let's take an inventory of our skills. Who do we have? We have a digger and a construction person. We have another digger. Oh, hey. Oh, Ellie, continue digging. Maybe Bert will have focus on some construction here in a little bit. Mima is our researcher and Meep is just a general purpose duplicate. Okay, cool. That's fine. So in this case, Let's go ahead and start bringing in farmers. We need a farmer supplying person, farming, operating, tidying. That might be nice. Farming, farming, supplying would be good. Farming, operating, mm -hmm. early bird, narcoleptic, quick learner, squeamish, balloon artist. Okay, Abe, you're in. We like you. Proof. We have high expectations for you, Abe. Do work. All right, and Abe, we're gonna have you do. We're gonna have you focus on farming, because so we need food, and we need to do great things. All right, uh, what's everyone doing? We have people running, probably. We have people eating. That's the other thing that we can do. We can build a mess hall today. Maybe we'll just stick it down here. You know, if we put like a mesh tile, like in here, which we don't have. We could probably get that bristle blossom to grow. That might be nice. All right, let's. I hate these little things. Let's pick them all up, get it all done. And uh, the other thing that we don't have, we we're going to try to make. I'm kind of curious now. Hold on. A great hall. A great hall requires a mess table. The minimum size is 32 tiles. Okay, how how big is this space right here? Six times four. No, definitely not that requirement. So if we're gonna try and make a great haul today, um, maybe we can stick it, I don't know, somewhere. It, it would have to be like over here or we could go, we could dig up. The closer we get to this old biome though, little, little nervous about that. I'd like to keep it near the food storage, if I'm honest. Is this in the way? Do we build down one too far? Is that what's going on? Okay. Cool. All right, so this is gonna be our food storage pit. We'll let, that, let them sort that stuff out. And then in the meantime, let's get this farm up and running, shall we? You know, I suppose we could have built, built like a natural farm with pips and stuff like that, but honestly, we don't have time for that nonsense. Uh, we need to get this mealwood up and running quick. We've got people to keep alive. <laughs> Guys, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, y'all. <laughs> I, hope, I hope my rumbling stomach didn't get picked up on the microphone. <laughs> that was really loud. I can hear it over my headphones. All right, uh, this is looking great. Let's get this thing interesting that we're running into pressure I pressure issues. Well, hopefully they harvest this. And once that's harvested, we'll we'll take this out and we'll just put in a farm towel here. I am a little concerned that we're gonna run out of food on a side note. Should I like should we run up here real quick? How are we doing on, did we get the pneumatic door or the, uh, 
the other doors? I don't think we have yet. We haven't gotten manual airlocks yet. Okay. If I open this up, we're going to be letting a whole bunch more CO2 into the base. How How is this looking down here? Yeah. Okay. Well... That might be a problem for us. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm just going to dig this out a little bit and we'll let the CO2 get smushed down a little bit further. It's kind of a bummer that we're going to open this up. Also, this is going to let the shine bugs out, which is probably going to keep our duplicates awake in the middle of the night. We'll have to see how this plays. Oh, hey, there's some neutronium here. I wonder what this is. Well, we might... If we can get that pneumatic door, we might punch a hole and dig our way over there and see what's going on. Okay, great. All right, so now this... Get this taken care of. We want to make sure that all of our food is protected and none of it is being is rotting. So let's make sure that they're picking that up and moving it around. This is I probably oh yeah. This ration box is in so much CO2 in the bottom of the map. It's now in a sterile environment. Okay, well. That's great. Alright, this one we're gonna to dedicate to cooking ingredients. And this other one, we're going to dedicate to edible food. We can go there. And then this one, we'll deconstruct it because we're going to fill this whole area up with oxygen at some point here. All right, great. And I think what we'll do is we're going to start adding some additional oxygen production over here. So let's go ahead and dig that out. Let's uproot this plant it grows any further and the same with this one we're gonna dig this out okay so we have oxygen it's not the end of the world we don't have any skills but we do want to get a new research going so what are we going to work on insulation kind of is on in the back of my brain at the moment um some automation might be nice but I think what we'll start working on is, let's get the um, the water cooler. That would allow us to get a, a great hall set up as well. Okay. We really want them to dig this out. I hate to open this up. Look at all the CO2 up here. But there is food just sitting here in a sterile environment, rotting. I might murder these shine bugs, side note. We're, what are we doing? We're going up here for 500 calories. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, man. All right, well. We'll have to see how this goes. <laughs> um. Our farmer, who are you? All right, Abe, we really need you to focus on farming, buddy. So let's go ahead and have that. Our researcher will have you focus on researching. Bert and Ellie will have you focus on digging. And I think Bert is decent at building as well, right? We just haven't given him any skill points. That's fine. And Meepers are our general go-to person. So we'll have them, we'll have Meep focusing on tidying, supplying, and storing as well. Okay. So I'm putting this over here because what I want to do is I just want to get another oxygen diffuser going to help hopefully push some of this CO2 down here. Oh god, Bert! What are you doing, buddy? Get out of there. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, and that hopefully this helps out this pressurization issue that we have right here. We have a slight pressure problem. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put an airflow tile here, and hopefully this oxygen diffuser helps correct that. In the meantime, though, we kind of have a major problem here. What are we going to do? Do I... Should we just dig up? Do we have... 
Can we just eat nosh beans? Just straight up? Or do I need to process them? I probably need to turn them into food. Okay, we did get up there and got some more calories, so that's good. Alright, we'll make sure that somebody's always running on this thing. Uh, we're gonna have two diffusers going. It's gonna be kind of power intensive. We could put in a terrarium, an algae terrarium in here to help us out, but uh, we have more pressing issues, which is really that we need food. So hopefully this mealwood can come online quickly. That would be great. Uh, let's go ahead and get this all dug out as well. Not that we really need it. I guess it's not that important, but we don't have seeds. But we'll go ahead and set this up so that when seeds come into play, they'll get planted. Uh, there is some buried muckroot here. Okay, so... Oh, good. Alright, so they got the muckroot. Yeah, we'll have to see. We might need to make some compromises here at some point. We'll get there eventually. Alright, cool. Yeah, I think this is fine. Um, what we'll do is... So... Okay, if we put in a second level of farm here... Or should we go up with it? Let's go up with it. We'll put the Great Hall. Like, well, the Great Hall could be down here, but a second level of farm, like right in this neck of the woods, might be really nice. So let's go ahead and get that set up. I really want to go up with it, but it seems this seems like a logical spot for right now. We'll take it apart later. You know, like it doesn't have doesn't have to stay here. All right, and just so that I'm measuring correctly, 24 tiles, which means that this here will be an end wall at some point in time. Uh, we'll put a door or something in here in the future if we go out that way. But that should get us out that side. And I want to be a little careful about this. I'm just going to plant it. We'll dig it out later. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that all of these are planted first. And then once that's done, we'll start focusing on the rest of it, you know. Like, we need more seeds. We need a bunch of other stuff going on. It's going to take some time. I don't know if we're going to actually survive to get there. You know, I think we, we might actually we might actually run into a problem here. We might we might actually need to start digging some of these buried objects out. See what turns up. Alternatively, we could just start like digging around. So we do have nosh beans. Um, we have nosh beans. Interesting. So we could run up there. Maybe we could make some tofu. It's been a while since I've made tofu, actually. If I make the... But doesn't that need to be... Doesn't that need to be on, like, the electric grill? Micro musher. I don't remember what, what needs to go where. Here. Uh, what we'll do is I will put this down in here. Shoot. This isn't... <laughs> these plants. Get out of the way. Okay, let's get all these notifications out of here. Uh, this ladder can go whenever people, somebody has time to deconstruct something. Uh, this mealwood plant, do we want to wait? How long until this is mature? Life cycle is 12 cycles for full growth. It's been growing, it's at 85%. So maybe like a cycle and a half ish before that's ready to go. Okay. Research going. We could kill this hatch if we really want to. We could, we could murder the hatch. 
All right, let's get a micro musher up and running. I really hate to do. It. Actually, I'm gonna stick it right here. You know what? Screw it. You know, right here. And if we if we really need, I do not want to make mush bars. But if we if we if it's really gonna come to that, we'll do it. We might need to just do it for a hot minute until this mealwood comes online. And then we're just gonna let people eat raw mealwood for a while. You know, because that's what that's what any good colony manager manager would do. They would just say, like, you know what? We don't have time to cook food. We need you to. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we need you to be building at all times. Alright, let's see if we can't get our cook or somebody to come down here. Crank out a mush bar or two. That would be great. And then at some point in time, we'll dig our way over here. We'll check out what this Neutronium is. Hopefully it's something good. Knowing my luck, that Neutronium is going to be a chlorine gas vent. Because that's pretty much what happens. The game tortures us by giving us um, chlorine gas vents. I almost thought that was an omelet. The guy, the, the Bert's helmet, when Bert put it down on the ground, I thought that was an omelet. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna dig this out a little bit around this diffuser. All right, cool. We got the next thing of research done. That gives us the water cooler and advanced research. Perfect, and the super comp computer. Let's keep on keeping on. What can we work on next? So we do have a little bit of a CO2 issue. I'm not too worried about it. If we can make more oxygen than CO2, it'll be fine. Um, I'm tempted actually to get the duplicate motion sensor so we can start getting some bonuses on using some of the machinery and stuff like that. Uh, we don't have a lot of that at the moment, so it's not as urgent of a situation, but it would be nice. Uh, we could start getting like coal generators as well to free up our duplicates. Mm. Not medicine. Uh, the mesh tiles. Uh, the mesh tile alone is is almost it's almost worth it. But I think, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it's time to make the slog. All right. Let's just start like chipping through some of the research we need to get done. And then also while we're at it, let's go ahead and get the supercomputer built as well. And what we'll do is we'll, um, once we research light and stuff like that, I think we can put a motion sensor in here, help speed them up using that, that facility. Okay, we're going to get a little bit more mealwood here, so that's nice. And uh, don't tell me that there's nothing to do eat here. There's muckroot right here. It must be, it must be already assigned to somebody. Somebody's coming in to eat it. Oh, you know what? This is perfect. Here, we're going to take this omelet. Somebody's gonna have a good meal. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Abe? Yeah. Abe. Good way to go. <laughs> Jeez. Perfect timing. Thanks, game. That was great. Couldn't have been done any better. All right, what do we get? It's not raw. All okay, right, yeah. So we got the achievement for eating something that was cooked. All right, nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that might be your only cooked meal for a while. <laughs> Oh my god. These poor guys. Alright, let's see if we can't get some of this stuff harvested. As long as we're chucking stuff down here in these bins, as we find it, we'll be okay. And, uh... Let's, no, we don't have any storage for this anyway. Alright, never mind. Okay. Oh, that's too funny. Okay, alright, well... This is great, actually. This might give us another seed. We'll get some more planted. And maybe we can copy this down here. I can go there. That's great. Uh, this part hatch is just stuck in this door. <laughs> Poor guy. Let's save a hatch. <laughs> okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, so food is kind of like our main thing at the moment. Let's get that up and running. 
Uh, and then also, I want to figure out a way... I don't think we're quite there yet, but it'd be nice to like sort out some power things so that we don't have these guys standing on these terrible treadmills. These regular batteries are, are pretty much garbage. They're 10 kilojoules. The heat production of 1.25 kdtus. That's fine. Um, we don't have the other ones researched, so it's fine. I'll probably skip right over the top of the large batteries and go straight to smart batteries. At some point in time, anyway. Everyone's doing their jobs up here. Get all this stuff swept up, and um, all of our our meal. We're about to get our first harvest. This is exciting. And then we can stop making stupid mush bars because mush bars are the worst. Yeah, we'll keep digging this down. Let all the CO2 kind of like settle down here. Uh, anything else? Do we have anything? Oh, look at this. We have a caustic biome that's kind of peeking out down here. That'd be, that'd be fun. What the inter this is like a pretty interesting map. There isn't really a lot, a lot around us. Oh, sweet. All right, we have a natural gas geyser over here. Heck yeah. All right, cool. Well, that kind of like sets us up for power. Um. And I'm really curious what this is over here. We do have a pneumatic door here. Or a manual airlock. That's what I meant to say. So here. I don't know if we can actually dig over here. Ooh, yeah, we can't dig through abyssalite or obsidian yet, can we? That's too bad. Bert, how long till you uh, get super hard digging? It's going to be a while, isn't it? Okay. All right. Well, hopefully Bert... Hits with the program. I'm just gonna start like prepping this. Uh, yeah. The only other way we could do it is if we came down, came down like through here, and then even then we could at least dig it out a little bit to see what it is. But I just don't feel like I don't feel like doing that. Well, we could. Why not? Here. Should we explore and see what this is? I have a feeling that we're going to have a permanent ladder here, so why not? Let's put it in. And for right now, we're going to switch this out. This can be a manual airlock on this end. We'll just go ahead and dig this all out. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. All right, we are, we are golden. Look at all this food that we just made. What the heck? All right, <laughs> that was weird. All right, we'll see if we can't get all this rest of this stuff done. We need to get this hatch out of here. So I know this hatch is going to be eating anything that falls on the ground. So I'm just going to murder him. It's too bad. I hate murdering hatches if we don't have to, but. Uh, we have a we have a few poking around here, so they can we can always leverage that if we can get the ranching up and running soonish. Maybe we'll build a hatch farm here soonish. Okay, so what I would like is let's see if we can't get down over here, and we'll uh, we'll explore. We'll explore what this is. I'm really curious to see what that is. <laughs> Anything else? Man, I am excited. This is great. So people are not happy. But you know what? 5,000 calories is being consumed per cycle right now. Okay. All right. Well, they're going to murder this poor hatch. <laughs> I, that's actually like quite a few calories. So as long as I get that put down in food storage at some point, we'll be uh, we'll be okay. And then also, I suppose we need to have this floor put in, and we want this sealed off as well. Okay. All right. This is great. Wonderful. Uh, we do have a. Let's just set the priority on these outhouses for a little while. We'll let them pump all that stuff out. 
Our big water consumer right now is research and these wash basins as well. So at some point in time, we're going to need to upgrade these bathrooms. I don't know if I want to do our normal bathroom setup. Should we? I mean, it's easy. It's easy. Uh, we can just like recirculate the water um, between the bathroom and the uh, water sieve. And we can also put in our nature preserve shower as well. Should we just make like a really big nature preserve shower? I think that'd be cool. You know, we can have multiple people, a lot of people that can take a shower at the same time. It's like one giant super nature preserve shower. We can just put it across the top of the map, top of, uh, across the top of the thing. I think everything on the left side here, these are all going to be rooms that need to be, that have a 64 tile requirement. This is what we'll do. And then um, all of the other rooms that we want to like have in the base, the bigger ones, like the, that might be a little bit bigger, uh, like the 96 tile ones, we'll put those on the right hand side. I don't think that we actually have a lot of those, right? It's just uh, a massage clinic, I guess. All of the food we'll take out. Oh, the rec rooms. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, so we'll do the 96 tile rooms over here. We'll do the 64 tile rooms here. We'll have this like weird corridor thing in the middle. Uh, we can put some tiny rec rooms and some like little quiet smoking corridors for duplicates and whatnot. All right, cool. Well, I think um, this is a good spot to end for the day. I just want to say thank you so much for all the big, all of our subscribers on Twitch and everybody who's supporting the channel. It's, without you, we wouldn't be able to do this. Thanks so much. And uh, guys, have a, re a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. See ya.